Hi, it's me again with Corrode All Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this clip art, and I thought, man, that'll trace really good. But it didn't. There's some hidden watermarks in it, and you would take a long time to clean this up. So this would be a very easy draw. We're going to take a ellipse. Let's make it something equal. So I'm going to make it two inches. We can always scale it down. And then I'm going to take a, I'm going to hit the P and put it in the center of the page. Let me bring, whoop, let me bring this graph again so we can kind of copy it. And center of the page is going to be pretty important. Then what I'm going to do is take a control D and make a duplicate and then hold down the shift key and grab this two sided and see how it makes the oval, but even. And you could probably do this mathematically, but we're not worried about it. Two point line and hit P and put it in the center of the page. I'm going to go ahead and trim off these edges. So there's half the globe right there. Now what we can do is take control. You know what? I'm going to group it together. Control G, control D to duplicate it. And I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Now we do not need, so I'm going to take that one and go to object group and ungroup it. And I'm going to take that shape right there, but I want that same. So I, I nudged it up twice. I am going to take a two point line. And if you see the quad, well, I need to start moving, go quadrant and start moving and then hit the other quadrant. So that's exactly half. Take that shape, go ahead and get rid of our line and nudge it back down. Now it's probably not going to be in the right spot. Yeah, it is, because if we flip this over, no, it's not going to be in the right spot. So there's the difference right there. We're one inch, so let's go 0.5 and nudge it down. Yeah, I could probably go a little bit further. So I'm going to leave it like right there. Now, control D and make a duplicate and mirror it the other way. And you'd want these to be the same, so you would you would do some uh, nudge calculations. Uh, probably the best way to do it, uh, get out the parallel dimension tool and go from that node to that node, and we're 0.63 from there. So on here, we're going to, holding down the control button to put it there, we're going to change our nudge factor to 0 0.63 and then nudge this back up. Now let's go ahead and take in virtual segment delete key the lines and get rid of the measurement. And we already made the crossbar. So now I'm going to control G to group this and I'm going to make it eight points a little bit thick. See, it's six not listed, but we can just type in six or five. I'm going to do five. Well, I'm make it a little bit smaller, then go ahead and make it five. Then I'm going to go ahead and make it black. Okay, we have, you know what, it would have been easier to keep it a two-inch circle for a second. There's a two-inch circle. We need another circle, and we need to rotate it, but we're going to, before we rotate, I'm going to go ahead and make it black. I'm going to take a... 2.5 inch circle and hit P. It's going to be a little bit big. Holding down the shift key, take one of your corners, bring it in. <clears throat> and let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and make it six points so we know what it looks like. I think we made it, we made it five, but it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my nudge factor and set it on like three inches and I'm going to nudge that out of the way and I'm going to take a two point line and then grabbing them both and go C E and put that other line right in the center. Now what I'm going to do is make, I'm not going to make that a thick line yet. I'm going to uh, nudge this back. But if you look, that's not exactly on that. So what we want to do is now take another circle, hit P, 
holding down the shift key till it grows about halfway. And it'd really be easier to get, get this out of the way for a second. Take your virtual sigma delete key and delete that. And delete that. And delete that. Grabbing that line now, it's still intact. Uh, it's still together, make it 0.5. Oh, five points, not 0.5. Now delete this other half. Now we need to join these nodes to make this look good. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and grab that, grab both those. Go up to Windows, Docker, Join Curves, and join that, and look what it did. Now, I think in the original, they've got a little bit of a rounded corner, and you could do that, but not really necessary. Now, because we've nudged, we can just nudge that back. We'll go ahead and make this black. And then we need to rotate it somewhat. I'm going to go ahead and group it. And then just rotate it right now. It's not going to rotate it on the exact axis. The other part's going to be really easy. We've already got that part. I'm going to, let's take a rectangle tool. Now let's go ahead and make it the five points so we can see what it looks like. And then with the ratio lock, just start clicking your rounded corners off till you get See, theirs is a little bit square. We're going to make it a little bit, little bit square. Make it black. And, you know, you could put it anywhere in there. And really, probably the easiest thing to do now would, you know, I think it would be the best, is to convert this to an object. And then left-click, right-click. Convert this to an object. We'll have to break the curve apart. Or convert it to a curve. Don't really have to do this and it's not going to allow me. I'll tell you what I can do is just, I can left click. Well, there we go. But I don't have my, it's not a hairline anymore. Let's put it back. Let's just go back. Forget about all that. Sorry. Because it, it's not going to matter what we're fixing to do. I'm just going to take a rectangle. And it'd be neat to have it in the center here. So I'm going to do it like right here. And then grab both these and go E, C. That way it's right in the center of that box. And then this is probably probably too thick. So we're going to make it a little bit narrower. Take it back. EC. Take this. You're just using the control button. And then what I what I wanted to do is kind of weld it all together. And now when we use the smart fill tool on black, it'll fill all that in. Kind of cool. Uh, there is a way to get these rounded corners, uh, but I don't really think it's necessary. Uh, it looks pretty cool at that. Anyway, I hope that helps. And then you can always just resize it, you know, to whatever whatever size you want it. Now, one thing about resizing, um, this inner part, go to your pen tool and make sure you go scale with object. So no matter what size you you make it, it's going to be scaled with object. So the numbers and or the graphics are about the same. You don't have to do this one because it's a fill. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.